Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing two examples of designing of NFA using Thomson's construction. As we all know that in Thomson's construction, as we all know that there are three operations on regular expressions. First is star, second is concatenation, and third is or. And corresponding to these three operations, we have well-defined rules for building a NFA with epsilon. As far as a star is concerned, we have four epsilons. One from Q0 directly to QF, one from Q0 to Q1, Q2 to QF and one back. From Likewise, for concatenation that is A dot B, we don't have any epsilon in Thomson's construction. And for A plus B or we have four epsilons, Q0 to Q1, Q0 to Q3, Q2 to QF and Q4 to QF. Now, if we talk about, give the Thomson's construction, for all strings starting with AB and not ending with PA. It is compulsory that it should start with AB and it should not end with BA. So all the combinations except BA will be considered that is BB, AB or AA. And since it is starting with AB but it can have any intermediate combination. So we will add universal at this point. And now we will talk about Thomson's construction for this particular regular expression. When we talk about Thomson's construction for A, B, it is simple concatenation A into B. As far as A or B star is concerned, we will have 8 epsilons, 4 for OR and 4 for star. Now we come to third point that is B, B or A, B or A, A. If we talk about Thomson's, the first thing which comes into mind is that we should take 3 epsilon out moves and corresponding to every epsilon out move, we will have one state and we will combine all these 3 epsilon outputs on final state but this is wrong because as per the Thomson's construction you can maximum have two epsilon moves out moves from a single state. You can have n number of in moves to a particular state but you can always have only two out moves from a state. So instead of having three epsilon moves we will take first two epsilon moves from 0, 1 to 1 and another to 2 and we will have a direct move from 1 that is BB will go directly and again from 2 we will have 2 epsilon moves 1 is to 4 and another is to 5 and here we will have AB and AA. So this is how we will go in for Thomson's construction when we have 3 or more inputs of a regular expression in a OR condition. Now we join all 3 this is the concatenated output for AB. A or B star and BB or AB or AA. So first is AB, then comes A or B star and finally we have BB, AB or AA. And in next example, we have to consider the Thomson's construction for A or B into AB into A or B full star. First we will consider the Thomson's construction for A or B. As far as A or B is concerned, we will have 4 epsilon moves. Then we have AB, this is in concatenation, so no epsilon is required and then we come to A or B whole star. 4 epsilons of A or B, 4 epsilons of A or B whole star. So that means 8 epsilons in all. When we will combine these all, ultimately we will have concatenated output for all 3 that is starting from A or B followed by AB followed by A or B whole star. So this is the final output which we generate corresponding to the given input. So we have discussed how NFA can be generated through Thomson's and we will be discussing some more examples in the coming slides. Thanks for